Well, welcome back to sunny Naples, Florida. Adam Bazaljed here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy and two-time PGA Teacher of the Year winner. We're going to talk today about how to include, how to improve, I should say, your club path. A lot of times it's referred to swing plane. Hopefully got some helpful advice for you here. Stay tuned. Okay, so how to improve your club path. This is something there's a lot of topic of discussion on. It is very, very important because the club path, or if you like, the swing plane, has a big determining factor not only on your direction, but also to some extent how solidly you hit the ball. It isn't as difficult as you think. I hopefully have got a couple of good ideas for you here. By the way, if you subscribe to the channel, got lots of free content will be coming your way. Uh, if you find this helpful. So let's get into it. What is required and what we're going to focus on primarily here for the next couple of minutes is the bottom half of your plane circle, less the top half. If you can get the bottom part right, the bottom of this circle, you will have a great deal of success hitting the ball where you want to. And to a large extent, the top path will take care of itself. There's two real things you've got to remember and two things you've got to adhere to. Number one, Interesting little teaching aid here. It's a hammer or it's a mallet on a shaft. Number one, and this is going to sound oversimplistic, but it can be really helpful to you. The job of the golfer is to strike the ball so that it goes forward and towards the target. Simple enough, right? You'd be amazed how different to that a lot of people's swing path is. They're coming out, they're coming in, they're coming too much down. If you take a little mallet like this and literally just set up, It'll be so obvious to you what would be required to tap that ball forward. A big mistake a lot of people make is rolling the club and getting it behind them. There's no way you're going to do that with this. Yet would feel completely counterinstinctive. So whatever would be most obvious and most simple to tap the ball forward would be a great indicator of what you should be feeling in your plane. Now you'll notice this club face doesn't twist dramatically. It doesn't stay completely hooded. It just has a very natural small pendulum that relates to the target line. So take a little golf club, tap the ball forward like that. Believe me, that is going to get you on the right track. Let's ghost it with a golf club and you'll see how they move in much the same fashion. I'm not a big fan of this toe up thing over here. I think the toe would typically be a little bit more forward. I think that's much more natural. So number one, remember, your job is to create a motion that taps or compresses the ball forward towards the target. It really isn't that difficult to do if you play around with something like this. Number two, you have to do it in keeping with the design of the golf club. So if the golf club's designed about like this, that represents your circle. So your circle is going to represent something like that. If the golf club has this design, you go way under that, that's pretty difficult to do. And if you go way above it, unless you have a nice reroute or something, that's difficult to do. So two things, remember. Number one, create a natural swing path. If you picture me slapping my hand or the mallet that drives the ball forward towards the target. And number two, just do it in something that is in keeping with the design of the golf club. If you can fiddle around with those, and I definitely get something like a seven iron or an eight iron or whatnot, and just do some of these little baby half swings from about hip high to hip high, play around a little bit, hit some 20, 30 yarders. This thing is not that difficult. And again, if you can master this a little bit, believe me, you'll be well on the way to the rest of the swing play. And all you do is add a little bit of speed. Okay, then I hope that helps you, gives you some ideas on how to improve your club path. Love to get you more of the free content. Just subscribe to the channel, get lots more of this coming along. Love to have a little relationship with you like that. If you like this and you'd like to try to add some yardage to all your clubs, please subscribe there. That's a free course for you. I think you'd find it helpful. Hope this helps you get on track with your swing plane. Hope it makes it a little simpler for you. Scratchgolfacademy.com is my website. Hope this helps.